welcome or welcome back to this channel if this is your first time being here my name is tony this is business life with tony i own a non-medical home service agency in illinois i got licensed in january and before i got licensed for that i had other plans so this channel is just kind of showcasing my journey um, from where i started into where i am now um, so I just wanted to come in today to kind of update you all. I explained in my resource video um, some of the resources that I had and things that I found um, that I kind of went back, like I referenced myself back to it. Um, so I'm always thinking that there's things that are out there for other people it might not be for me because maybe i don't qualify people look at me like a business owner they're like oh you don't qualify and so on the other end how can i get in to partner with people you know what i mean so i spoke about this list that i got from um, the county so i service kane county dupage county and cook county so this came from kane county and it has a bunch of resources on it so um, it has autism services, it has abuse, family violence, it has child safety, child care resources, um, some of the others are disability services, senior services, libraries, food and nutrition. So I really, um, and it takes a few times for me to look at this for something to kind of trigger in my mind, but I'm really looking at this like, okay, this is resources for people in the community who needs assistance, but how can I use this to my benefit? So for one, I could be listed on here, which is, I just got done with a meeting for that. And I recommend that you reach out to the counties that you work in and ask if they have something like this. This one updates every fall. Um, like I said, I just got off the meeting with this woman, so now you know I kind of know a little bit more about it. Um, it updates in the fall, so as long as I have everything that I need by the fall time, she's going to contact me before they publish it, and I'm going to contact her if anything changes. However, she did mention to me that they prefer for people to have a sliding scale for people who can't afford it. They want something that works for all families like they don't want to leave anybody out so a sliding scale will do if i can come up with that um if i accept medicaid or if i accept medicare so um, i'm actually in the process of, of accepting medicaid and medicare advantage um and a sliding scale i'm gonna have to reach out to somebody and see what that's gonna look like for my agency it seems like that's the quickest and easiest thing to do but it has to make sense financially because it's a business and i can't I can't pay for somebody else to be taken care of, but that's just not how a business works. I'm not nonprofit, I'm for profit, so that's how it works. Um, and just to kind of throw it out there, I am looking into how I can um, also do nonprofit just because at some point I want to be able to give back. I want to be able, when I'm stable enough and when I'm, you know, I reach a certain level, I want to be able to give back to the community and do things for the community um, and be that resource. And while I'm looking for resources, you know, um, during the hiring process, there were a lot of people who were applying, but they were like, I can't, I can't pay for a CPR class right now. I can't do that. Like I need to be working first or, and you know, I try to work with them like, okay, well just get it to me before three months or something like that. Um, so I do work with them as well. Uh, but I ran into that a lot. They didn't want to pay for the TB testing um, or they couldn't afford it. Um, they didn't know where to go. Um, and then the background uh, fingerprinting and things like that. So what I'm doing well, before I started this video, I was actually calling a bunch of people on here to see like, okay, so you assist with English, GED, job training, educational needs. So do you guys help with some of these things? I actually found one service that does. So I'm going to put them on my flyer and I'm going to put it in the local public aid office. So that's going to be my hiring. And then if you need assistance with any of these things and you fall within these guidelines, give this person a call and they'll be able to assist you with that. So that's going to kind of help me. I'm so happy and so relieved to have found that resource. Um, and actually, it's the person that put me through CNA school <laughs> um, back in... No, this is 2020, actually, in 2020. Um, so, yeah. So, that was pretty nice. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying previously. If you do reach out to your county, kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Um, and just be thinking about that anyway if you want to reach a wider range of people. Um, 
I never heard of a sliding scale. I never thought of a sliding scale for this purpose. So that was pretty interesting. And it gives me something to look into so that I can service more people if necessary. I definitely mentioned that I'm able to work with the VA if they have those benefits, um, third party insurance companies, and then private pay. So um, what she could do for me is list me on the website where there are a lot of resources, but in order to be listed here, they kind of have stricter guidelines. And as you can see, the paper is completely filled. So in order to get me on here, um, they want to make sure that I definitely have something for everybody. So in order to get me on the website, she gave me the um, contact information for someone else that handles the website specifically. Um, and then she also told me to get listed on 211 so that if anybody's calling and needs, you know, they're looking for something and they call 211, they'll be able to have my information and be able to pass my information along. So um, they have it listed here. It says, for more resources, call 211, must dial from a Kane County number. Um, just wanna show you guys. Oh, it's probably, my camera probably flipped, but it's this purple box right here. So she was also very helpful, very nice, and she was giving me a lot of information. She was like, there's so much information, um, and she really tried to take her time to give it to me, but she was like, there's just so much. So I was just like trying to keep up writing. I'm like, it's okay, because I'm trying to keep up writing. <laughs> but I love when I call people and they are so helpful and so, you know, like she's like, oh, well, let me give you this person's email address, and this person hasn't been in a while, so I'll give you their email address, but this person you should call, they should be there today, and I'm just like, trying to take it all down but um yeah so today went really good i called one two three four five six seven places to see if i can get resources for recruiting and people who are not able to afford um the requirements so that that's like enough for today i'm so happy about that but yeah so now i'm about to get on canva and i'm about to create a new flyer not a new flyer i'm about to adjust the flyer that i have because i really like it um and then i'm gonna go to the local public aid office i'm gonna give them my credentials i have all of my credentials with me in this folder they can take copies there so um yeah i'm gonna take it and then pass along my information pass along my flyer hopefully they put it on the bulletin board and um yeah, well, we'll see what happens. I will come back and update you all, or I'll put it in the description box if I'm unable to. Um, today is my kid's last day of school. It's a half a day. It's 11 o'clock right now, so I may or may not come back. Um, but I'm on business today. I'm making calls. I'm emailing. I'm setting up meetings. I'm doing all type of stuff. I was really kind of just waiting for my kids to be out of school. And to me, it didn't make sense because, like, who going to babysit? But... <laughs> I'll figure that out later. I, I'm just like really relieved because the school days are hectic. I am like on go. And I'm gonna keep talking about this because I feel like, you know, having your own agency is not what it seems. You think like, oh, I'm the boss, I could do what I wanna do. I still have responsibilities. I still have kids. I still have, you know, so many things to do. Um, I wake up super early to get my kids ready because if I'm not watching them, they'll go back to sleep. And then we all late. So I have to get them ready in the morning for school. I take them to school, I get back home, I get myself together um, just in case I have to run out of the house. You know, I would love to sit around in pajamas and stuff, but I don't because I don't know if I have to run out and do something. I don't know if I'm gonna have a sporadic moment where I'm like, oh, let me do a video. Um, like, I just never know. So as soon as I get back home, I get myself together. Um, I start doing stuff like cleaning up if anything needs to be tidied up. I have a dog I have to take care of. I have plants I have to take care of. So I check those things. <laughs> um, uh, try to get me something to eat. Try to make sure I have enough liquids. I am like such a busy person. By the time I look up, it's five o'clock. I got the kids and I'm settled in and I'm like, wow, I didn't eat all day. So yeah, I try to get a meal in. I try to get liquids in. Um, and it's just, you know, crazy. I try to have something sitting out so that when I come home, I can cook or I try to cook before the kids come home. It really just depends on what my day is like, but my day is definitely busy and full of things. Um, and so when I'm waking up early to get them together and then I'm running my day doing what I need to do, if I need to run out 
grocery shop or drop business cards off or have a meeting or whatever I need to do. By the time I get back home with the kids, I'm tired. I probably got one more thing left in my body to do, and it's probably a shower. <laughs> and so I'll be sleepy too. I'll be ready to go to sleep at 8 o'clock. My kids go to sleep. They in the bed at 7.30 and sleep by 8 o'clock. So I'll be ready to go to sleep at 8 o'clock. And it's just like there's not enough time in the day. And so when I do get home, I'm like, okay, now I can sit down plan for the next day or you know I'll do this when I get back home and I don't do that when I get back home because I'll be tired but now that I don't have to wake up so early to get them ready for school and things like that I just feel like I can I can have um I don't I just feel like I won't be like a chicken with my head cut off I can level now <laughs> so comment down below if you can relate like let me know if you can relate to that because it doesn't change. It doesn't get better. I mean, I don't know. I have to, I have to ponder on that part. But having your own agency, you still have responsibilities. You still have to fit your agency stuff in. And you really got to really find time to do it because you're working for yourself now. If you don't put the work in, nothing's going to come out of it. So if I'm doing all this stuff for the kids and myself, like I say I am, and I, at the end of the day, I don't do anything for my agency, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be super stagnant. So there's parts that people don't talk about. Um, you know, sometimes I'm up until like five o'clock in the morning. Um, I don't really allow that to happen anymore so much. Um, but sometimes I will be up until five o'clock in the morning uh, becoming a provider or um, trying to read and understand something and then have it ready for the next day. Um, just up printing stuff, organizing it so that I can have it ready to be signed and put in a mailer and then I'll be like, okay, I'll drop this off in the morning. Um, so I stay up late trying to figure out what to do the next day, trying to get things prepared to do the next day. Um, reading things to understand better, reading things to learn. Um, and also like becoming a provider, you have to read that stuff. Um, understanding like they may say like I don't know in some random spot it may say you will not get paid if and if you don't read that and then the if occurs you're like what's going on here and you don't already signed the contract so you know it's just a lot of things I, I really try to do everything the right way um, and it, it seems like there's not enough time in the day but I am figuring things out and it's still fun to me because I love to learn. I'm learning this whole way through. Um, yeah, so. And I'm, a, I'm the type of person, like, I function better when I'm busy, 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 busy. So I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm okay. But, yeah, so that's it. I just wanted to give you guys an update and then throw some things in there to think about if you're going to reach out to those resources. Um, I'm glad I did contact them because after talking to people and like updating them, like my family and stuff, you know, they were like, well, Gang County, they help people. So are you sure if you're private pay, they're gonna accept anything you have? And I kind of thought about that too. And I was like, probably not. But like I said, they're able to list me on their website. So I'm glad I did have that meeting with her. And now I know for sure. Now I know for sure that I have to come with something for all people so i can go really work hard on that um my issue with medicaid is online my application it seems like every page there is a delay um so the first time it wouldn't let me put my phone number in i believe um i had to keep calling well that time i called one time and uh, i figured it out the next time it wouldn't let it said like i had to do something with my address verify my address and even though i was clicking verify it wasn't allowing me to go through with it so it's just like every single page i have to take a long time to either figure it out or call them um so now i know i just need to pick a day where i could just bite the bullet and get it done so if something's not working okay let me call them have them on the phone while i'm still trying to figure it out if i figure it out i'll hang up if i don't they still on the line and just kind of have something else to work on, but yeah. And then the other problem is I'll be trying to multitask. So if I start doing something else, I'm gonna forget that I had that going on. So 
hopefully by me still having them on the phone <laughs> if i couldn't figure it out it'll get my mind back to like oh yeah so i need to help with this you know um but yes 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 i think that's all i think that's all i have notes here for um finding clients i'm gonna blur it out but i have a long list of how to find clients um and it's probably 50 ways on here i think I, I don't know where i'm going with this i don't know if i'm gonna put this on the website for sale um but a lot of things i kind of just write it out what i do what i did what i want to do what i'm gonna do and i just have that in case anybody ever needs that help um I just have it on paper or in, I'm gonna type this up, but I have it somewhere so that if somebody needs help and they pay for a one-on-one -on -one or something like that, I can go back and refer to my list. So a lot of the things on the website, that's what it is. Somebody has already asked me for it. And so I put it online as well since I've already prepared it for somebody else. Um, but this was just me kind of trying to keep track of what I do, what I did, what I wanna do, what I'm gonna do. Um, what I've heard about, things like that. I have uh, question marks down here. Things I've heard about, I'm going to look it up. So, I don't know. Be looking out. Let me know if y'all want it. Let me know if y'all want it. I'll put it on the website um, for purchase, of course. Because um, it, it takes time to sit here and think of this. I think outside the box. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Let me know. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope I didn't just ramble on about things you didn't want to hear about. I hope there was some really good, valuable insight in this video. Um, if you watch this video to the end, please comment down below the heart emoji. It looks like this. <laughs> the heart emoji. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so if you watch this video all the way up until this point, comment the heart emoji. Um, and I appreciate you all. Please comment, like, share with your like-minded friends. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. We're on our way to 800 subscribers. And as always, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. And I will see you on the next one. Yeah. Okay.